Our Father, who art in heaven, please open our eyes that we may see your word the way you would like for us to see your word. And let's apply it to our heart, body, and mind. And Lord, if there's anybody sick, please touch them because you're the healing master of everything in this world. And we do love you so. And we all ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Let's grab our basic instructions before leaving earth and let's see what the Creator, Father God, has in store for us today. Unfortunately, I had already done this and for some reason it did not take and I don't understand why. Except for AI does not like it. So I may not do it the same way as I did it before, but we're going to give it a try. Alright, well, Matthew 24, and Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. <coughs> He is talking about him going to the cross here. And the building also. Okay? And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, don't be deceived on what's going on in the world today. And many people are deceived because they listen to this propaganda on this pandemic. Alright. For it, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See, ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Now, we've already been having that. Think about it. We're against China, but yet we buy China's mask and where the pandemic come from. You get it? Okay. Or they say where the pandemic come from. We don't actually really know the truth about that. Uh, for nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, we already have the nations against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. That's government against government. Okay? And we already have the famine. It's here whether you really want to look at it or not. It's getting bigger and bigger. And we have the pestilence. What's a pestilence? Like a virus. What we got right now. Okay? And earthquakes quakes in diverse places. Now you could take this in various places. Or you could take this literally in diverse places. Under the water. The ocean. The sea. Alright. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. So we're already in the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. So if you call yourself a Christ-like, Christian, whatever, even in China right now, they are dying because they believe in the Word of God and they believe in the Creator, Father God. And they are dying. Their government is supposed to be their God. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Now, Rick was telling me about this family. They were out picnicking. 
sitting and eating their food, and some woman walked up there with pepper spray and sprayed every one of them while they were eating, even the children. It's crazy how people just offended because nobody's wearing, but somebody's not wearing a mask. They're offended. All right. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, eleven many shall wax cold. We already have that. It's a lot of people are narcissists now. They're only after me, 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 me. But he that shall endure to the end, these things shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. <coughs> Now you have <clears throat> this gospel that you're hearing. But then you have the Quran. You have the Seventh day Advent. You have the um, Scientology. You have all these other so called Bibles out here. So all of this is getting preached all around the world. If you don't know what Scientology is, good for you. But you do not want to get mixed up in there. Stay away from Scientology. Alright, here we go. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of destruction, spoken by Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. You're going to have a Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. And then you're going to have the false idol, false idol, false idol. Okay? Go back and read the book of Daniel, and you will see it. All right. Then let them which is in Judah flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Look, when they come, when this military comes to give you their pretty little vaccine, I don't, hey, I'm going to be running. Neither let him which is in the field, would turn back to take his clothes. You run. You go barefooted. Don't get anything. But I sure do hope I have time to grab my Bible and take it. And woe unto them. I know I won't get my soul machine. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that get sick in those days. They are going to take your children. Your children will be gone. And I am on this channel. And I know there's a, if you don't, if people don't want to shit and listen to the truth, then they're not going to get it. But they are killing children and eating children and drinking their blood. If you don't believe me, go look it up. Um, it doesn't matter to me. All right. And woe unto them that are a child. I'm going down. But pray ye that your flight not be in the winter, neither in the, on the Sabbath day. Here's just a big clue. Okay. For... Then shall be great tribulation, such as what not been seen since the beginning of the world, or to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Now look, I, I'm going to go back here to this word world. I should have done it up here. I did it on the last video, but this one I didn't, but I'm going to do it on this one. Alright, you got the world. The world is all the sinful stuff, these towns, cities. And all the sinful stuff that's going on on top of it. <coughs> the earth is trees, fruits, vegetables, birds, and all that belongs to the nature of it. That is your earth. Alright, except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Doesn't it just seem like yesterday or even last week that the towers went down? Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, there is Christ, or there believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if they were possible, they would deceive the very elect. Now I want you to think about this right here. They have fire coming down from heaven. Think of paradise in California. 
Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Mecca has got four mountains around it, right in the middle of the desert. Behold, he is in a secret chamber. Believe it not. For as lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Here's a something right here. Where he is, Jesus Christ is going to come from the east to the west, and he is going to be in a cloud, just like he did, was before, when he went up. <coughs> he went up in a cloud, and he's coming down in a cloud. For whosoever... The carcass is, will the eagles be gathered together? What carcass is dead people? Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. Why? Because he is coming back, and everything is going to be shaken. The whole world, the whole earth, the whole galaxy. There's galaxies within galaxies within galaxies. And if you can read the book of Enoch, there is a verse in Enoch that says the people are the stars. Alright. Uh, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Alright. Now, I, you people, y'all, anybody that's a follower of Christ, you are going to mourn. Your loved ones that you have been trying to get to look at Christ, they're no more going to be able to turn to Christ. Unless they do it while it's coming down. Unless they see it coming. I, I, you, you, it is better to try to get your people, to your friends and your family, to see it now than to see it later. Alright, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branches is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour know no man, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall, shall, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now I'm going to tell you, they had, their, it was, uh, to me, looking at everything, all that is going on today is what Noah's looks like. Okay? They had the same thing that we have here. I'm telling you, that's, I believe it. Because what has been will be. And here we are at the end of the time again. And what do we have? That what no primitive thing. Can't be. What has been will be. They have electric stoves, electric refrigerators, and stuff like that. Computers. <coughs> For as in the days of Noah war before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving and married, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Look at what we're doing today. Uh, people. Uh, uh, okay. They're eating and drinking having sex, giving in to sex, and sex, and sex, even with, uh, what do you want to call it? Rubber dolls. How about these, uh, 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 robots? <coughs> How about these little children? 
Look what you did. Alright, and no not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall be two in the field, and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be gathering in the mill, grinding in the mill, and one shall be taken and the other left. Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord cometh. But knoweth this, that if the goodman of the house had known in what which the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be you also ready, for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man cometh. <coughs> Who then is faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord had made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if, if now, that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servant, and to eat and drink with the drunkard. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him with the portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. In other words, if you change your ways and all, you might as well go on down with the hypocrites and, and die with them. Boy, I tell you what, I left a lot out somewhere. I'm sorry, this, the other one was about 20 minutes. Alright, thank you, hugs and kisses. How to donate to PayPal. You mash on poor man sewing, and then you come up here, and you look for a bout, and you mash on a bout, and right here you hit on donate to poor man sewing. It's people like you that help me out, and it is really appreciated. And I hope you many blessings in this hard times that we are fixing to go through. A lot of hugs and kisses to you.